Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be playing Wheel of Misfortune, where I have to compete against Jamie, who is a complete novice at blacksmithing, to make a forged product that's better than his, while also being given a whole host of disadvantages. We're going to light the forge and brew some coffee and tell you about today's sponsor, which is Trade Coffee. Trade Coffee makes sure you are never in a coffee rut again by connecting you with the best coffee from the nation's best roasters and delivering it right to your door. This is PT Coffee Company. Companies at Flatlander Blend. Mmm, that's the good stuff. Trade works like this. You go onto their website and you fill out a questionnaire. Do you like your coffee ground? Do you like it in beans? Do you like it dark? Do you like it medium? What type of machine you make your coffee in? And then Trade is gonna get you some recommendations on coffee to try. You choose the delivery frequency you like, the coffee then comes delivered to your door. You rate that coffee and repeat so the Trade continues to supply you with the coffee that you love. All the packaging your coffee ships in is compostable and Trade guarantees you'll love your first bag of coffee so if you don't like it, they'll give you your money back. So for you guys watching, you'll get 50% off your first bag when you sign up by clicking my link in the description down below. So go ahead and check them out. Use code STEEL50 at checkout. Let's get into the video. My name is Jamie, I'm 27 years old from Norfolk, England. My hobbies include fast cars, rock climbing and pretty women. Um, I'm a videographer, not a blacksmith, but I think I could probably pull the win out today. My only worry is if the wheel lands on the naked challenge, I'm probably going to have to forfeit and leave because I don't really want to have to see that. How many times have you blacksmithed before, Jamie? Three, four. You think three or four times? Three or four, maybe five. I think it's going to be an easy win for me. I have to say... My largest concern is gonna be forging blindfolded. I have no idea how I could possibly find the anvil, let alone find the workpiece and hammer on it if I'm blindfolded. All right, let's teach you how to make this leaf and then we'll see what I'm up against after that. So we have made our first two leaves. This is what mine looks like without any impingements and here is Jamie's second ever leaf. Now, the competition begins. It's on, Popple. Let's spin the wheel of misfortune. Oh, uh, a few. <laughs> One-legged. It's time for a small disclaimer. Please don't try any of the things that you are seeing here today. This is exactly how to be completely unsafe in the workshop and is a great way to get yourself hurt. Please don't get hurt. Forge safely. Don't be like me. I'm a trained professional. My hip hurts already. Here we go. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna rest like this between heats. I keep having to just cock my leg out like I'm a peeing dog to get any sort of balance. My left butt cheek is on fire. It's starting to cram. <laughs> Overall, the forging is possible. It's just physically tiring. That's my one-legged leaf done. I'm sorry, Jamie, I think that's a point for me. Let's spin the wheel and see what's next. What'll it be? Upside down glasses. So these glasses make me see 90 degrees. I'm looking at you through my eyeballs. I can actually see your eyes. You can see my eyes, yeah. great. You're like one of those little kind of like, some little lizard thing. I'm like a lizard. Thank you, you're Jamie. Like, you're like a slug. You're Thank slug you. Like eyes on the top. You're talking a hard game, but wait till you see what a beautiful leap I can make with these bad boys. <laughs> okay, where is the forge? There's the anvil. I need a bit of steel that's got a fresh end ground on it. To the forge. Ah! Hey, we're doing it! It's working a treat! Ah! <laughs> this is like what blacksmithing with VR glasses would feel like. This is actually a really cool experience. I bet this is very much like blacksmithing for the first time because the coordination, the hand-eye coordination is all out of whack. It's all out of sync. <laughs> Ah, I missed it. Ah! <laughs> ah! I just hit the anvil five times. There we go, so that's mine with upside down glasses. Jamie, what do you think? Who wins round two? So I think the little circle on yours is better than mine, but the actual leaf 
is crap. Oi, oi, easy, Jamie. So... What are you going to say? I, I can't say that you win. I think that's going to be a draw. I think it's going to be a draw, yeah. Okay, draw it is. Tick, tick. Let's spin the wheel for round three. Horizontal forging. This means I cannot use this surface of the anvil. I can only use the side. Let's see what happens. I cannot use the face. Oh my goodness. This is incredibly difficult. My back's already on fire. This is brutal. Come on. This isn't the hardest of the three because I can actually look at it and I can program my hands to do it all right. It's just this is the most physically demanding of the three. On to forming the leaf. This is the trick. If you kneel down, it's much easier. I guess I probably need to use my tongs bent over sideways too. Okie dokie. Horizontally forged leaf. What do you think, Jamie? I think it's the best one yet. You think it's the best one yet? <laughs> <laughs> Golly, I'm just gonna forge sideways from now on. Hunchback steel coming right up. Cha -ching! Blindfolded. Right, I'm gonna keep my glasses on for protection. Make sure I can't see underneath them. There's gloves somewhere here. Oh, by the way, this is the stupidest possible thing you could ever do in the workshop. Don't do this. Here we go. Okay, there's the bar. Let's forge a point. Ah! And there we go. Oh my goodness, where is this thing? There we go, I got it. Brick. Opening in the forge. Ah, come on. Okay, this is so difficult. Hey, do you guys see this beautiful anvil? It's right here, steel anvil, 140 pound cast steel anvil, made in America. Well, after a year, you can finally buy them again. June 1st, Alex Steel Co. We have a very limited number coming. And instead of doing a big pre-order like last year, we are gonna be getting a limited quantity of anvils every month. So once a month, you're gonna have the opportunity to grab yourself one of these. And I'd be very grateful if you did, so we can get these in your hands. All right, come on now. Where's the bar? Where'd it go? Jamie. <laughs> you bloody plonker. <laughs> How did I know? I didn't even need eyes to know you were messing with me, Popple. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't think this is going to end up looking like a leaf. You know what we might have to do, Jamie? If you're willing, we might have to allow me to look at it in between heats. What? That actually looks like the beginnings of a leaf. I thought I was just making a point, but it has shoulders already. Come on, there's a shoulder here somewhere. Come out, come out wherever you are. There's at least a shoulder here. I don't know where the other one is. It's not very leaf like. <laughs> is it looking like a leaf yet? Can I just say that's almost as good as my first ever leaf from when I was 11? Okie dokie. Trying to cut it off now. Okay, that's my leaf done. <laughs> it just turns out blacksmithing blindfolded is very difficult. Who do you think wins, Jamie? Still probably about the mine. That's another point for Mr. Bubble to the wheel. Broom handle hammer. All right. Handle. That involves a very, very, very long hammer. I think that'll do. Here we go. Ah! Ah, I missed. Okay, I'm getting in the swing of things here. No, every other hit's a miss. Come on. No. I just can't see what I'm doing. It's so far away. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I'm getting more accurate, but my forearm is on fire. <laughs> Okie dokie. There's yours, and there's my broom handle hammer one. What do you think, Jamie? Who's winning? I think we've got a similar thing going on with the this is better, but the leaf is better on this one. Yeah, your leaf is better than my leaf, but my little loop-de-loop -loop is a little bit better than yours. My loop-de-loop -loop has let me down for everything. So now it's time to spin the wheel for challenge number six. And looking at the points here, Jamie, the best you're going to be able to do is a draw. I still might be able to win if I come out on top, though. Get hosed. What does get hosed actually mean? Well, it means I've got to take everything out of my pockets because I'm about to get soaking wet. 
We're gonna change the mic, and I'm gonna have to forge this leaf while Jamie has free reign of a pose. Ah, hey, we haven't started yet. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Here we go. Wait, hang on a second. That's just rude. <laughs> Why are you forging in the rain, Alan? <laughs> Right, this time we've got a fine misting. Very humid today. Back to the forge. Your workpiece got cold quite quickly then, didn't it? I'm gonna go for a trick shot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's looking quite like a leap, actually. I don't think I'm making it hard enough. I'll clean your anvil off for you, though. You've got to be quicker than that. It's <laughs> just so... <laughs> ah! <laughs> right in the air. I think my leaf is looking pretty good. Complete snap. Complete snap. <laughs> I may have lost, but at oh least God. this has been worth the loss. Let's make our final judgment. Who won this day of challenges? Suck it, Popple. I won. Thank you all for watching this video. Please go get 50% off your first bag of trade coffee. The link down below. I am grateful to have enjoyed mine this morning. It's been a pleasure having you along. We will see you on the next episode soon. Bye-bye.